It is the shocking result that very few people saw coming. A political novice taking on a four term mayor. But tonight, India Walton is likely the next leader of Buffalo. Good evening, everybody. I'm Michael Wooten. Scott Levin is off. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. India Walton was David and Mayor Brown the Goliath. The result of this mayoral election is now drawing national attention. While Mayor Brown has not conceded, the odds of an absentee victory remain very slim. We have team coverage tonight from Steve Brown and Dave McKinley, but we begin with Channel 2's Claudine Ewing, who spoke earlier today one on one with the new likely leader of Buffalo. Claudine. You know what? Talk about change. Not many people, as you mentioned at the top, Michael, saw this coming. For 16 years, this house behind me, City Hall, has been run by one man, Byron Brown. It appears if the votes stand, it's going to change. This house will soon be run by a woman, India Walton. Who is India Walton? She is a 38 year old mother who was making stops today on the city's west side. In fact, we caught up with her outside of Betty's restaurant where we saw a lot of voters outside cheering. And as the dust settles, the work of running the second largest city in the state of New York becomes apparent. I talk with her about her plans. Leadership from a person like me is not what a lot of people uh, in the city, especially those in power, are looking forward to. I'm going to co-govern, get into neighborhoods, and talk to people who are most affected. I do not want a bunch of yes people. One of the things I'm most excited about is that there is not going to be, in my administration, a fear of retribution. I expect to be held accountable. And the reason why I don't take money from corporate donors or the real estate industry or developers is because I want to be held accountable to the voters, to the people who put me in office. India Walton says her cabinet, once she makes it inside of City Hall, is going to be diverse. She says there will, she will fill it with experts, no patronage, no favors. Those are her words as of now. And she says expect a culture shift when it comes to City Hall. And she is not expecting a mass exodus. I've talked to some people in some various departments uh, within city government. Some are saying maybe people are, if they're close to retirement, they may just leave. She's not expecting that. And today she also heard from the county executive as well as Senator Schumer. Reporting live outside of City Hall, Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.